um, welcome to the um, demo about the uh, Kibishet statistics analysis. And I'm just going to share my screen. Or am I sharing my screen? No. Yes. Can you see the screen now? Yes. OK. So um, lastly, we've done um, knowledge extraction of Capacity Update Manager, which uh, in summary just collects information on uh, how many uh, requests for dependency updates there are in repository. And just to uh, just to go back into that uh, to see what we analyze. Uh, so um, you know we, we analyze the request type, who's created, and large that. Yes. When, when was the request created? When the bot first responded? When was the request closed, merged? And so we can do a lot more if we want to. So, um, uh, how do we run the analysis? Mm. Yes. <laughs> uh, you just use just, this just very repository and publish it update manager entity and also a dependency update. And that is basically uh, uh, all of the changes to the pip file log in your repository. So, and the, by, by that way, you can compare on how much the capacity has changed in your dependency pip file log file and how much uh, actually mm -hmm. the contributors are changing. So. You can have a ratio of uh, of how, how how much do you use the Kibishet the manager update actually. So you just run the analysis and then um, you're good to go. So then you can uh, go and look into some statistics on on that, and I've made some of them. And so yeah, the uh, for example you you can you can go and see on. Uh, which functionalities are used in your repo as because the Kibishet Update Manager has uh, uh, a, a several of them. So you can have an automatic uh, dependency update, then you can have failure notification, uh, failure notification pull request, I guess, uh, manual uh, dependency request, and an initial lock uh, issue, I guess, or pull request. So uh, yeah. Um, then you can you can go and look into uh, how much actually the contributors uh, 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 do the updates on on the pip file log, and how much the bot does, uh, and how much updates does the bot. And uh, yeah. Um, uh, so so you you ideally you want to have only a, a bot updating the dependency file. Because that that is its purpose, and uh, then you can go and look into the um, actually the the times that uh, the um, time time to merge a request, a dependency request. So uh, that is basically how much it takes to uh, 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 merge the request created by uh, Kibeshet Update Manager, and until the request is merged. Merged. So uh, you have some uh, uh, some basic time to merge request times here in time, but you want to uh, you want to have a more specifically analysis, and that is how 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 does the time to merge request how does the time to make merge request attribute develops in time? So you can go and make a median. Uh, time. Uh, so basically, you're just comparing the uh, the times to the previous ones, and you can do uh, either median or average. And there's 
basically how your bot is fast. That tells you how, how your Kibbutzet bot is fast. So ideally, you don't want to have, uh, uh, you know, um, uh, ascending curve in, 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 in a large spectrum. And uh, yes, uh, yeah, I, I, I kind of forget what I wanted to say. <laughs> Mm. Yes, I think that's it for the cabbage analysis uh, visualizations. Mm, that's good. So um, we could basically create an, an I don't know, top five um, list of um, repositories that um, abuse humans. Mm -hmm to do dependency updates yes of course nice this, get it this done is, this is this is basically uh analysis for the aemon api repository and uh, the final stage would be uh to have a uh workflow scheduled for all repositories that use kibbish which will be the next thing to yes. do so yes yeah but um i think for us it might be a good uh, f not for us both but for us, AI CUE, it might be a nice proof point to really show this is all the repositories that um, Open Data Hub, AI CUE, Project Toth uh, have, uh, or has, have. Um, and uh, here is the list of top five repositories where PIPFI log is uh, receiving too many contributions from humans to get updates in. Yes, exactly. Because that would, on the uh, uh, the the reverse uh, thought is um, that is a repository which has not enabled enough automation by yes. cyborgs. Yes, and uh, you can also use that for uh, Kibbutzet maintainers to see that if, if the Kibbutzet runs uh, smoothly or not. Yeah, sounds good. So that would be a nice uh, next step for. Yeah. Cool. Any other questions for Dominic? Uh, yes. Uh, okay. Uh, no, my my question is related to the time. Is um, what is the measurement unit of the time? Yes, the measurement unit is minutes on the y-axis, and of course the outliers were outliers were removed because the, from time to time there are some pull requests that the maintainers forget about, and yeah, the those should not be com uh, counted into the statistics, I guess. Uh, so can... Anyway, these uh, local diagrams need to be translated to uh, some superset dashboard, right? Yes, yes, uh, of course. I've, I've, I'm, I'm sorry for that, but today the hue and superset were kind of uh, no. not <laughs> active. <laughs> Perfectly okay. <laughs> yeah. So... Uh, Hashard, you had a question too? Yeah, it was along the lines of time. Uh, so the the current one, it's showing, like what I read from that is, it's showing the average time to close the automated update, right? Yes. So like, I just wanted to, like, I it was very interesting to see this because like, if you see from July or October, it has been growing. So it means like, I guess from there we have started to introduce too many CIs, and and then I guess <laughs> it is taking more time now to make them merge. So yeah, thanks for showing that. Yeah. Um... Yeah. Now now imagine we are running a full integration test with a new cluster uh, on each yeah. pull request. Yeah. I think that is exactly the situation that Open Data Hub people try to prevent, right? I think Bajek uh, run into the same situation. Yes. Uh, it is also good to know like how project itself is going through this, right? Well, thanks, Tom. Yeah. Yeah. Uh, yeah. Uh, one uh, one visualization visualization that I forget about and I've just noticed now is that 
I should also uh, print the, uh, which the, the number of successful uh, dependency requests and the closed ones that were that were not merged. Uh, yeah, I can add that to the superset. Nice. Any other question? Thanks, Dominic.